do a spring updates video, I have some returning favorites and some new things I've just purchased because warm weather is here and summer is around the corner even though I can hardly believe it. And I also wanted to do just a couple minor life updates. The first is the band-aid situation and I get my stitches out on Friday. Was originally gonna wait until next weekend to film. I woke up and I just felt like filming. I had a new camera that I was excited to use and I thought, maybe one of you guys watching is like me and thinks getting your yearly skin check is so annoying and I 100% understand. So I thought maybe this could act as a reminder that it's important to take it seriously. And I just decided a couple weeks ago that I needed to make the appointment. I'm really glad I did. So I got a spot removed on my face and then also on the back of my arm. The dermatologist really isn't that worried, but I will get the biopsy back this week. So if you needed the reminder like me, I promise it's annoying, but you feel so much better once you get it done. And like I mentioned, I have a new camera, Jer's away on travel, and I really Really just wanted a camera that auto focused well so i hope once i get this footage onto my camera it looks really good i honestly just charged it and turned it on so i will play with the settings and make sure that the lighting looks nice in future videos but kind of just wanted to play and i have so many good things to share with you guys i also might touch i don't know i have a lot of stuff to go through but if i have time at the end i might touch on my health and some things that have changed for the better and some things i'm still working on but let's go ahead and get started and i will start with beauty products i have two skincare items the first is the newest thing in my skincare routine this is the leilani pompamousse tropical enzyme cleansing oil and just like all leilani products this is such a treat to use it smells incredible and it works really well so i told you guys i've not been washing my face in the morning i just splash it with water or get it wet in the shower so that means the night before i try to do a really good job of removing every last little bit of makeup so on days where i'm wearing a lot of eyeshadow or eyeliner I'll use this first to really break down all the makeup and then I'll go in with my regular cleanser. So this again, smells amazing and works really well. And the other thing I've been using for a while and I'm getting pretty low and I do think I'll repurchase. So I thought it was worth mentioning. This is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. I love the tint on this. So this is the last thing I use in my morning skincare routine. And on days I go to work, kind of been skipping foundation for the past few weeks. And I like that this has the tint to it. it doesn't offer any coverage at all, but it also doesn't leave a white cast or a gray tint to my skin that I feel like I have to cover with foundation. Just makes my skin look a little bit glowy and very healthy. So when Glossier makeup first launched, I did try a lot of it and I thought it was nice, but there was nothing I felt like I needed to shout from the rooftops. But when my friend Ashley and I went to New York City earlier in the spring we went to the Glossier showroom and I got a chance to just play with it all in person I finally bought the cloud paints I bought two shades beam and dusk I love these I really like them and I totally get why people think they're so much fun to use they just melt into the skin they look so pretty and natural these don't last as long as that NARS liquid blush I showed recently but they're beautiful and they're absolutely perfect for going to brunch on the weekends or wearing to work if you don't need it to last you know long into the evening these are a beautiful product and I'm so happy I have them so I use dusk more all over and then I take a tiny little bit of beam and put it right on the apples of my cheeks the other product I probably don't need to talk much about this is boy brow and just like with the cloud paints I get it now for a long time I used the Anastasia clear brow gel which works amazingly if you want to have every last little hair perfectly in place you definitely feel it in your brows and it feels so good to remove at the end of the evening so this is a much lighter formula it's almost mousse like but it does a great job of fluffing up the brows so that's what i did today i used max brow pencil and lingering to give some shape and i really don't have a tail to my brows so that brow pencil is great for just adding on a little bit of length to the end and then i use the boy brow to fluff up the top and then kind of smooth down the rest i think as i go through my makeup you're gonna see very quickly that I've been into simple looks lately. So for my Keir Weiss palette, if I can open it, I've been using this shadow in Cloud9 all over my lid, and it's a really beautiful cream shadow with a little bit of shimmer and glow to it. And then Urban Decay Roach, which is a terrible name for a very pretty mid-tone shimmery brown. This I'm just smudging right up into my lashes, and then I take another shadow from Keir Weiss. I'm not 100% sure because the name is not on the back of this. I think it might be Earthy Calm, but I'll double check and I'll have the correct name listed down below. This is so pretty. I love this shadow so much. So I use this to kind of smudge and smoke out the roach liner a little bit. So this is what I've done today and it's just been a very easy go-to look, especially for work. To finish off the eye look, I've just been adding a ton of mascara. So right at the end of the Sephora VIB sale, I ended up needing to replenish my Proteini from Drunk Elephant. So I went on to order it and just, I think that it's same exact day, this came out from Milk Makeup. This is their Kush mascara and I'm not normally into mascaras that have really big brushes 
but I like this a lot. I think it gives me a lot of length and kind of fans out my lashes really nicely. I do think it contains CBD oil. I'm not, I haven't even read why they included that, if there was a purpose, but I'm not sure what it's doing for your lashes, but just speaking to this as a mascara, I think it gives a really pretty look to your lashes. I have so many lip products, but I promise to go through them very quickly. I've just been into easy, easy lips. So that will be, and really glosses. There is a lot of glosses here. First up, I have one of the lip serums from Fit Glow, and this is in the shade Beach Glow, which is a sheer shimmery bronze, but you don't feel the shimmer on your lips at all. In fact, the lip serums give my lips that very cushiony feel, which I really like. And then something else I discovered and really played with a lot when I was in New York are the new Kierweiss lip glosses. And the shade I have to show you is in Tenderness. This is 100% a My Lips But Better lip shade. It's a nude with a little bit of rosiness to it. And it's just my lips, but a little bit darker and it helps them to look more even toned. So this is more of a traditional feeling gloss, but no stickiness whatsoever. My last two lip products are both categorized as balms. The darker of the two swatches is a liquid color balm from YSL. And this is in shade number 11, which I think is just a perfect raspberry red, just a great color for this time of year. And then last up, this is brand new from NARS and it's called the Afterglow Lip Balm. And I don't think you're gonna be able to see the swatch very well, but I was wearing the YSL balm earlier in the day and I just got back from eating Mexican food with my mom. So the YSL had worn off, but it left just a little bit of a stain behind. So I topped it off with the NARS and I think it looks so good. And if you wear the NARS on its own, you just get a very healthy, like a little pink glow to your lips, which I think is really pretty. My number one favorite beauty product I'm gonna share today is from Briogeo. This is the Scalp Revival Charcoal Plus Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I heard about this on Tati's channel and I just put off buying it because it's kind of expensive, but I am so happy with it. If you have any kind of scalp issues like I do, this is amazing. It has a unique texture. It's almost whipped, so it's a little bit unusual to use at first. It's also a light gray color, which is kind of odd, but it smells amazing. A little bit, I get a little bit of like mint chocolate chip ice cream or something like that. So it leaves my skin feeling so happy. It almost leaves a tingling, cooling sensation but it's helped if you have itchiness, dryness on your scalp and maybe a little bit of product buildup, this is fantastic. So I'm sad I'm getting down to the end of it, but this will be something I repurchase. So I think I'm gonna jump to entertainment and then I'll finish up with some miscellaneous products and some new clothes I've purchased. But for YouTube, my YouTube subscription box, I've definitely cleaned it up organized it and downsized it. And there's three people that really stand out that I think you might like too. The first is Audrey from Audrey a la mode. And I've done a very basic kind of inexpensive budget closet makeover of my own closet. And as I was going through the whole process, I binge watched closet videos on YouTube and I came across hers. And at first I thought, well, you know, she's so preppy and sophisticated. I don't really dress like that. I'm not sure what I'll get out of it, but I have learned so much from Audrey. She gives such valuable information about where to spend money for your clothing items and where to save. She does a lot of capsule videos and capsule wardrobe, capsule jewelry. She also very importantly lives in Charleston. So I have to kind of fight jealousy sometimes because in her Instagram stories, everything is so beautiful down there. And she goes to restaurants that I love. And she also goes to restaurants that have opened since the last time I've been there. So if you love Charleston and love very sophisticated style, I think you guys would love Audrey. I discovered somebody new through a tag. They tagged me in one of their Instagram stories and her YouTube channel name is What Kate Finds. She is hilarious. I love to watch her. I think she must give herself like a certain time in the evening to go on to stories because I always know when she's going to have a new one up and I always end up laughing. She's incredibly entertaining and she has three kids, I think two girls and a boy and a really fun relationship with her husband. So I love when her family features it or she tells stories like the girl, one of her daughters was asking her husband about marriage and like, what if you want to get married, but you don't want to have to kiss. And just to hear her laughing at her husband, trying to explain it was very funny. She does a lot of home renovation talk, which I really like and has great fashion finds and beauty finds. So we'll have her channel listed down below as well. And last is Allison Anderson, who I'm sure a lot of you guys know. I have followed her for a long time since Amarique's and Pretty Little Liar years. And it's so fun to have kind of grown up with some YouTubers like during our 20s and you see everybody getting a little bit older and growing and maturing and changing a little bit. And Allison's videos have been so good. And I just take away so much from them and I love all the solo traveling she's been doing lately. So she shares beautiful pictures on Instagram and gorgeous videos. And she does some minimalism and decluttering videos on her channel. So again, I'll have everybody's channel and all their information linked down below. 
For podcasts, I'm slowly going through and getting each one of my friends obsessed with a podcast called True Crime Obsessed. It is two friends, a man and a woman. They cover a different documentary in each episode and they laugh in each episode. And I just find myself laughing with them, like in the car, honest to goodness, laughing. And they have broadened my documentary horizons. There's so many I didn't even know about that I've watched since I started listening to them. I think the first one was The Imposter. As I'm watching this, I'm like, Oh my word, I cannot, I cannot believe that this is a real story that really happened, absolutely crazy. They didn't do an episode on the jinx, but they mentioned it in passing, so I went and downloaded that. It's a six, I think it was a six episode HBO series. Again, unbelievable, just unbelievable that these stories are real. So if you have not listened to True Crime Obsessed and you like true crime at all, I think they're really good. And if you already like them and know them, I would love to know which is your favorite documentary that they've covered because I'm trying to go through and watch all the documentaries before I listen to the episode. And then I do have a book recommendation. It's actually one of the first books I read this year, but it's the one I think I liked the best or at least have thought of the most since I've read it. And the title of the book is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. And I am originally I originally downloaded it because I wanted something light, lighthearted, and I love books like that where you know the premise is somebody's a little bit socially awkward, but they fall in love or start to make friends, and it kind of opens them up a little bit to the world around them. But this book was actually a lot darker than I originally thought, and it deals a lot with mental health issues. But I think it was an amazing book, really well written, and I ended up caring about a lot of the characters. So I will put a link to Goodreads and Amazon down below so that you can read the description and see if it sounds like something you're. Interested in. We had our first 90 degree day. I think it was two weekends ago. It was the day before Mother's Day, and I woke up that morning and I just thought, ugh, I have nothing to wear. My closet and drawers are full of fall winter clothes, which is what I like to buy, and just everything looked constricting and hot and I just wanted something light and breezy. So after I ran a few errands, I went up to the mall to try on some things. Actually, the first thing is what I'm wearing today. This is a cream colored dress from Loft and it's spaghetti strap. So I think it is perfect for a hot weekend. I also think this would be such a pretty dress to take on vacation to the beach or just walking around a hot city. Just very like, especially Southern, like I, clearly Charleston's on my mind. So I think this would be such a pretty dress. And I like to buy dresses that I can wear on the weekends, but I can also make work appropriate. So it'd be very easy to toss on a sweater or like today I have on this jean jacket. And I love jean jackets, but sometimes if it's really, really hot, they can feel a little constricting. And this one I liked because it's cropped both in the length and in the sleeve. So it was very easy to just pop the sleeves up over my elbows and whatever fabric, I don't know, it's just something is a little bit more flowy about this fabric than my other jean jacket. I also did have to size down one size from the other loft jean jacket that I have. But I think this is such a little cute combination, especially if you're wearing this dress or a dress like it to the office, a little jean jacket or a sweater like this will kind of protect you against the air conditioning. Other thing I bought that day is this 100% cotton skirt from Madewell and I loved the fabric and the pattern. I sized down in this skirt much smaller than my normal Madewell size so that it would sit up higher on my waist because I've been wearing it on the weekends with a tank top and then on weekdays with a little sleeved, a little short sleeved t-shirt and I've been knotting both of them at my waist. So I wanted the skirt to sit up a little bit higher and it just looks really cute and I think it's a very easy way to wear the skirt. I've been so excited to show you guys this dress. I think it's the most beautiful fabric I've ever seen and like every time I look at it I fall in love all over again. I have thought about buying this dress for over a year. I think I found out about it through like Lee from America or one of the LA based bloggers. So this is an LA brand. It's a small company called Christy Dawn and they have a cool business model where they take dead stock fabric from larger fashion houses to make their dresses. So it's very sustainable and the dresses are just so pretty effortless and flattering but I still think they look very elegant. So I have worn this already so many times and I plan to make this like my go-to event dress for the rest of the summer. The top is gorgeous. It it's a wrap and it also has a little clasp right here. So I think it's a perfect neckline for a date night to wear on the weekend. If I wanna wear it to work, I do want a little bit of extra coverage. I think we talked about this in a video last year that I was looking for a bralette that I could use in place of a camisole. I have found one. It is fantastic. It's from the brand Lively. 
I think the name is the All You Bralette. Does that sound right? I will look it up and I will link it down below, but it looks so good. So it's straight across, so it looks like a camisole, but then you don't have to worry about like extra fabric around your waist. The day before Jer left on his trip, he needed to run up to the mall, I think to go to the Under Armour store or something. So we took his car and when we got down the road, I realized I had left my sunglasses in mine. So he said, just wear mine and I put them on and I couldn't understand why everything was a rainbow on the screen, like the screen in his car or looking down at my phone. And he said, if you never had a polarized pair of sunglasses before, I guess not. I've always had sunglasses from Loft or like the Madewell pair that I have worn to death for the past few years. So we got up to the mall. I went into the Warby Parker store. They had a brand new display of sunglasses and you could try them on. And they had a tester for how strong the polarization is. And Jer said that it helps, polarization helps with glare, kind of like an anti-glare feature. So I found a pair that I love. These are the raglan frames. They're very lightweight, but they still feel well-made and I have been wearing them a ton. I think it's just like a very classic style. So they seem to go with everything. And I think the only other miscellaneous thing I actually had down here to talk about in a video, but I just had to give it back to my mom. It's her Simple Human Travel Mirror. And I have been a huge fan of Simple Human for the past couple years since my mom got me one of their big mirrors for Christmas. That has been something, it is an investment. But if you love makeup, it makes such a huge difference if you can clearly see what you're doing. If you are shaping your eyebrows or trying to do a really nice winged liner to be able to see everything clearly. And I just think my makeup is more blended since I've had the Simple Human Mirror. So last month she let me borrow for two different trips her travel size. It was so convenient. I went to North Carolina with Jer one weekend. It was just nice to have to be able to do my makeup nice for nights out. And then if you follow me on Instagram stories, when Ashley and I went to New York City, we stayed at a budget pod hotel. So there was no space whatsoever. And it was really nice to have my mirror so that I could just sit on the bed and do my makeup and we didn't have to take turns trying to get to the one mirror in the very teeny tiny bathroom. So I had to give it back to her, but she, she's actually leaving on a trip this week. So I gave that back to her, but I think if I do any travel whatsoever this summer, that will be a purchase I make for my very own Simple Human travel mirror. I think that's pretty much everything I have for you guys today. As soon as my stitches come out, I am going to be filming some more videos. I have a home video all about organizing and cleaning, just random stuff that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys again very soon.